Good morning, and congratulations for a 60th anniversary for one of the greatest churches I've ever known. I, I'm delighted to be able to um, join in this even at a distance and celebrate with you. Um, I was asked to, you know, think back a bit and share some uh, memories. And what I carry deep in my heart is a, uh, an appreciation and gratitude for the people that I was given the privilege of speaking over them when they died. Funerals, memorial services, and such. I think that from time to time, as I, I'll go back and I'll look at an old directory. Uh, I did this just a, not too long ago, and 1997 directory looked at all of the people there and remembered when they passed into the Lord's hands. And felt not a sense of sadness, but a sense of celebration, a sense of joy. So much so that it causes me to, to tear up and to weep because of the, the great privilege it was to have known them. I mean, I wrote down some of the names so that I could uh, re help you to remember them too. Do you remember Bob Long? He would come into my office uh, about once a week or so, and he would knock on the table in my office, the big conference table, and he, he reminded me over and over again that he had built that by hand himself. What a remarkable man, sang in the choir, just, uh, he, he was a character for sure. Lula Mae Jowers, oh, come on. I mean, Lula Mae was one of a kind, delightful woman, full of joy, full of life, and remember those wonderful, colorful purses that she carried around. But the, she was so much more than that. I mean, she, she was something else, she was deep. And then I think about Doja Ragsdale, who was one of the first people to welcome me and my family uh, at Westminster and would do anything for the church. And uh, he could be crusty and crabby sometimes, but he loved the Lord and he loved that church and the people in that church. And then my heart breaks when I think of little Casey George and her tragic accidental death and how the church pulled together for the George family. Um, none of us wanted to go through that, but I think when it was all over and we were sitting in our pews pondering what had just happened to us. I think all of us were filled with a sense of gratitude for what Casey had been to us. And so her loss was great, but the gratitude was even greater. And Joanne Serqua, she, if you remember, Joanne had a real gift for being kind to people. She sent out cards and letters all the time to people just for, for any reason at all. And she would send them out. Becky Stowe. What a sweet lady she was and what a struggle she had at the end of her life to, to deal with her illness. But she kept a spirit about her that I think all of us felt almost infected by uh, her, her sweet and kind and, and optimistic spirit. Uh, the list goes on and on. Um, Nancy Holcomb, Pat Griffin. All of you may remember Pat Griffin, my associate, parish, parish associate. What a remarkable guy he was. Harold and Ruby Amick, uh, Ron Bachman. He, um, I, I always remember Ron challenging uh, all of the guys uh, the way that he would recite poetry to his lovely wife. And uh, so, yeah, I, I remember Ron very, very, very well. Uh, the Bach Knights, what, what great people. Um, Brent Blackwelder, he participated in the church quite a bit and his hopes and his dreams were ours as well for him. And Stoney Carruthers, oh boy, Stoney was, he's just one of the, was one of the nicest people, the nicest men, um, man that I could, I could think of. He, he just always seemed to find the good in things. And, and yet uh, he, he was such a diehard uh, Clemson fan. It was just, um, it was, it's fun to be around him. He was something else. Jim Kaiser uh, was a remarkable man. Remember, uh, Shirley Milam. Um, and then of course, a couple of gr giants in the church was B. Rain. And the way he impacted not just our church, but uh, the whole community and our church's outreach to the community was inspired by him. And then, of course, one of the great uh, giants of the church was Jeter Rhodes, and his tragic death, I think, really impacted all of us, just broke our hearts. 
Uh, the, uh, but, but because of his life, because of his faith, I believe we got through that because he helped us with that. Um, and all of these folks, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I, 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 I almost didn't want to um, uh, read this list or, or, or bring these names forward because I knew I would be leaving uh, people out, very important, very significant people. But, but they shared their story with us while they were alive. They inspired us while they were there. And when they left us, they left us grateful that they had been here. And so looking forward to seeing them again someday is something really remarkable. That's what I remember deep in my heart about Westminster. And of course, uh, my um, beautiful wife, Anita, her um, illness that stretched for so many years and her courage and just tenacity uh, was something inspiring and certainly touched uh, all of our hearts. But, you know, it, it, she, she was my, uh, my rock and um, her, her death was, uh, was very, very uh, tragic and, and hard. And it was for the church as well because she was connected to just about everything at the church. So all of these things, rather than making us sad and, and really not even uh, inspired to look backward, but to look forward because we are the church now. We are those people that um, were inspired by the past. Uh, we're the people of the future. Um, there's that great song that Steve Green wrote about finding us faithful. And I believe that that is the goal that all of us uh, strive for. So uh, I look back on the 17 years, you know, it's the 60th anniversary. I was there almost a third of the church's life. And I consider it to this day to be one of the greatest privileges of my life, uh, to be your pastor, to be your preacher. So I have such fond memories of all of you, fond memories of my time at Westminster. And I hope that this 60th anniversary finds you um, excited and, uh, and looking forward to the future, optimistic about what God has done in the past, what God is doing right now, and what God will continue to do in the future. So God bless all of you.